Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today we are going to be talking about some changes that were made on the PTS and yeah, definitely some of these notes are making me a little bit nervous, but I will explain as we get into it. Let's do this. Okay, so these are some balances that have happened on the PTS. Balance adjustments have been made to the following uh, creatures. Pretty much every enemy you can think of in the game has been changed. And this is on the PTS, keep in mind, and this will not be applied to the update coming out on Tuesday, as I will read here. But this was posted recently. Just want to read it for you. Combat balancing public test server update. Today we're updating the public test server with some changes that are focused on the creatures of Appalachia. The list of enemies you see below have had their health, resistances, and damage updated as we work to smooth out their difficulty from low to high level play. Be sure to jump into the PTS and confront them in combat. Just make sure you join our Discord to let us know how the battle went. Please note these changes are for an update that will arrive after Milepost Zero, which is arriving on September 3rd. Please do not expect these changes to be reflected in the Milepost Zero update. So I'm glad you guys made that clear. Um, yeah, I hate when stuff gets blown out of proportion. Um, bug fixes here. Damage adjustment for the Toxic Blood mutation. Now, I don't even know what Toxic Blood is, to be honest. If somebody wants to let us know in the comments, that would be great. It's not something I use in Fallout 76. The next one I'm going to leave to the end. Fixed placement of various items in the world. I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Addressed various text issues. Not sure what that means. The straw goat is now properly craftable for players who learned the recipe previously. All players in po uh, possession of the plan herdsman bell basic can now craft the bell at the tinker, uh, the tinker's workbench. Fixed a crash when approaching a caravan in a power armor. Addressed an issue with the tenderizer perk that could result in more damage as intended. Now, this is another thing that kind of scared me, but if you read the dev note, it says, we've addressed an inconsistency in the way the tenderizer perk is applied to dot effects. Prior to the fix, the perk could cause dot effects to deal unexpectedly high damage against hostile creatures that were scaled up to player's level or unexpectedly low damage to hostile creatures that were scaled down to player's level. Now, to me, this just means, like, this is going to be for, like, I think basically the cremator, um, it's not going to really affect like our other weapons, so I don't think this is a huge deal. But number two here, addressed an issue where the Live and Love number three magazine would provide an unintended increase to most bonuses from fruits and vegetables rather than only boosting healing effects. Now, I've always thought this was kind of weird that it did boost these effects, which I'm going to show in a second here, but since they've had this they came out or they i thought they fixed anyway i think it's backwoodsman six does the exact same thing for cranberry relish or sorry um tasty squirrel stew and broiled scorch beast brain now i don't know why they would fix this for carnivore and then, you know, not be able to make herbivore. Maybe they're getting back at herbivore here. I don't really understand this. Maybe this isn't, you know, exactly how I'm reading it, but it does look like it could be a nerf towards buffing XP for brain bombs and cranberry relish. You can't say for sure. It's just the PTS. Even if it is, it might not come out. If we give them the right feedback, maybe they won't change this. But I just think it's funny that they would change this when it seems like they just fixed this for carnivore less than a year ago. I just find it weird. Now, let me explain if you don't know. Now, brain bombs and cranberry relish are great for ranking up. And this magazine that they're talking about right here, Live and Love 3, at the moment buffs the xp on both of those and i'm going to show you you can see i have 7.5 intelligence and 25 percent bonus xp both of those will help you rank up faster intelligence helps you rank up faster and of course bonus xp does now see when i take the live and love i have 11.2 intelligence and 38 like that's 13 percent alone that we could be losing if this is what i'm reading it as again you know if we give them the right feedback maybe 
this won't happen or it's just maybe I'm not reading it right. But yes, this would definitely affect us ranking up in West Tech. And we already know that the Nuka Grenade could be nerfed too. So this is going to be a very interesting update, even though we don't have to worry about the Live and Love nerf. But that might be another thing to worry about in the upcoming update. So I just wanted to point this out to you guys. This is what's going on the PTS right now. I'm always trying to give you guys the latest news. And as always, let me know in the comments what you guys think, what's going on here, and how you guys take it, because this is just definitely my take on it. And uh, love hearing from you guys. As always, have a great day.